One of the things that's disturbed me most this week is the de debate about transgender children. I cannot support a situation where we solve a problem for one community, but in fact enhance a problem for another. But the fact is, is that if we solve one problem and not another, by omission, we are sending a message to those people in the transgender community. And they are the most vulnerable people in our society. All the statistics show what they go through. The suicide rates, the attempted suicide rates, the mental health problems. And I cannot stand by and do anything which makes their situation more difficult, which sends anything other than a message from this parliament, as most receive in their schools, but sadly some don't, that we want to embrace you, we want to love you, we want to support you, and we want to nurture you during what is a difficult and often challenging part of your own lives as you realise who you are. There is nothing different about your sexuality or your gender than the colour of your skin. And I don't believe that this parliament would waste a second if there was some old law which said that a school or any institution could discriminate against you because of your race and allowed that to stand on the statute books if it was discovered that in fact that law was being exercised in a way that discriminated against someone based on their creed or their colour. And for me that's why this is important because I said before we know that teachers today are being removed from some schools, a minority of schools, because of those inherent characteristics. And we know that there are some schools that would effectively penalise those based on their sexuality. The case we saw in the last two weeks, which equated homosexuality with bestiality and pedophilia. Just disgusting. So I want to indicate that I will be making the difficult decision uh, to part with my party on some of the amendments that are before the chamber tonight, and I'll speak more about those. But I've highlighted the two that are most important to me, the statement of beliefs and the opportunity to fix the SDA. It's an opportunity that I can't let go past. I could not live with myself if I didn't seek to address those issues.